that's a spicy meatball. This is Nerd Genius Playthroughs episode 3. This one's going to be a bit of a short one because um, it's the final part of my Simpsons playthrough but it's not the final episode of this season and I can tell you the reason why because I'm going to be doing a, an achievement episode so we're going to go around showing you how to collect each individual achievement that Homer gets for the Simpsons arcade game and um, we are also going to do a review so the review is going to be me talking to you guys via my video cam and telling you um, exactly what I think of the game now again we're going against the man who kidnapped Maggie here, Wayland Smithers or I like to call him Psycho Wayland Smithers because he's standing there wearing a cape throwing bombs at me now why he does this, he does drop a few bombs so you can actually pick up a bomb throw it back at Smithers and uh, see if you can actually blow him up, look just like what I'm doing now and uh, I didn't get him you also can have the choice just to punch and kick him as you usually do um, just to let you guys know as well we've had two people uh, for the competition to win 2100 uh, Microsoft points for your Xbox Live so you can buy yourself some downloadable content or um, a Xbox Live arcade game, whatever you want to buy with it, doesn't matter. As long as you don't sell it on eBay, because if you do, I'll be kind of pissed. Um, the simple fact that this competition is, it's running until April 1st, and then we'll be running another one. So it'll be a chance to win every month with every playthrough that I'm doing. Now the theme to this one is literally, well, a Simpsons theme. So you get to... Um, write something you know just like comment and subscribe to my channel but the comment that you leave I want you to leave a Simpsons based comment now um, what a comment that I don't want you to leave would be oh, I like this game I really prefer it I would like to get it so it's so great blah 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 that's not what I want what I want is a Simpson related comment um, for an example if you look at uh, episode I think it's episode 2 on the um, Nerd Genius channel someone actually uh, put a comment on do that dance simple but relevant that's exactly what Homer does now um, you can do something like uh, say a Mr Burns comment like excellent or you know a um, Smithers comment like mmm or donuts or something like that just you know make it funny make it relevant and uh, it'll be running across both my, the Nerd Genius YouTube channel and my other channel, B Bay M. Now, there's only going to be one winner picked. So, um, I'll be looking at both channels to see the comments that are left, the likes, the subscriptions, just to see uh, who I feel is head and shoulders above the rest. Now, again, it's open to everybody on YouTube. So, add, comment, subscribe, like. You know, it's a retro based game here, so you know, I don't want to just have one person there and they win by default. I want to put as many, you know, have this to be as competitive as possible and to also show that you guys appreciate what I'm doing here because without you, there's no nerd genius. Also, um, take a look at my blog, there, there's currently an article written by a uh, great writer and actor in, in his own right. A guy known as Mikey O'Neill, or uh, most probably know him as Michael Pillinger. He's um, written a great review on the Mick Foley stand-up comedy tour. Now, um, it's the first tour that he, well, it's probably not the first that he's actually done in the UK, but it's the first advertised tour that he's done here in regards to his stand-up comedy. And um, it's his final tour for the foreseeable future because he's just signed a new contract with the WWE so it's great to take a look at it you know you've probably seen a few of his shows on YouTube you know Mick is a very diverse fella and a very amazing um, wrestler in his own right you know his career has spanned decades and he's still able to go when pressed now 
I would rather Mick retired as, as a pro wrestler. That's my own sort of feeling on the matter. I understand that he still believes he can get people over. But um, in terms of his own uh, career, I believe that it's not his age, but more the fact that his body is beaten, battered and bruised. And uh, for his own right and his own ability to walk, I would rather just prefer him to... Uh, you know, bow out of the, the squared circle, but I still believe as a commentator, he has a hell of a lot to offer. Now, um, I think I'm on my uh, eighth, uh, eighth or ninth continue. I don't believe I'm on ten continues yet. So again, I've spent nine pounds. If I was playing the coin up arcade game, I would have spent nine pounds attempting to defeat Mr. Burns. And. Uh, as a follow-up to my first video, the game was released in 1989 and it did have a console port to the uh, Commodore 64, even though in its own right it wasn't actually a console, it was more a computer system, it still did have a port and the port was terrible. So uh, this is more in tune with the arcade machine itself, so which I'm completely happy at. Now I've just rescued Maggie and uh, as you can see the Simpsons are on their way home now so uh, that's the great thing about this it literally has everything it's a pretty good ending small little cutscene done and dusted you're finished so it um, gives you a nice little bit of satisfaction with the game and that's what happens um, with a lot of the arcade games of this sort of era there wasn't really much to it. It was sort of like, you won, great. You know, you wouldn't really have uh, a sort of a big cutscene or a satisfying payoff as you would at the moment with most of the games that are out um, in today's era. But you'd have something like this. And um, it's, it's satisfying in its own right, but I know there's a lot more to do in regards to this game itself and uh, what I need to do to complete it. As you can tell I've only had four achievements um, on this so I'm going to do another thorough playthrough to get every single achievement on this game and I'm going to do it by adding every little time I get an achievement I'm going to give you guys a snippet of uh, all these 12 achievements and show you how you can gain them and what you need to do to actually um, do them. So you can successfully complete the game because if you're like me, you want to make sure you get as much out of the game as possible rather than just complete it. <laughs>